Okay, so this time we're gonna replace the headlight housing on my 13 Honda CRV. Uh, I'll show you what that's all about. We are replacing it uh, because of the UV damage and the plastic is clouding up pretty good. So I'll show you the difference in the, a newer light uh, to the old light. So here's the car we're working on. So this driver's side light looks great. Uh, that's because my insurance paid to replace it after we hit a deer last year. Um, unfortunately, since that light is new, and this original one on the passenger side is not new, I've got this real nasty sort of hazy uh, haziness starting at the top of the light here. And then it's sl sort of slowly creeping down. And some of it's because of UV damage. Some of it's just debris, right? Because you see there's actually scratches, horizontal scratches on here too. So, you know, every little bit of dust and dirt that kicks up from the road, uh, salt uh, kicks up too, because uh, I live in upstate New York. So then you compare that to the new light. New light looks beautiful, got it through uh, rockauto.com. So we'll replace this on this side, so both lights match, and make sure I get uh, a good beam pattern coming out of both. And uh, <clears throat> just by looking at this, I know that there's some type of fastener here. I have not taken this car apart yet in this area. There's also a fastener here on top, and there's a screw tab right there. That screw I can actually see right here, so that, that one's understandable. And so what I'm hoping to be able to do here, <clears throat> I should be able to release clips along this bumper cover and pull out and lower the bumper cover. And then that should give me access to whatever I need here. But before I do that, um, because of the way this light tucks in behind here, I am gonna take off the center grill. And we're gonna start by taking off these four push clips here and uh, see how far we can get that off. So I'll start with that. Okay, so after looking at this, <clears throat> these up here are not the clips we want to take out. The ones in the middle here are these two that we want to take out. So that releases the top of that. There's a clip. Okay. Let's see. So what we learn here is there's actually two clips high. And there's supposed to be four clips along the bottom here. I only have three. So I'm assuming the body shop that did the work just decided not to put the rest of these in there. So unfortunately, sometimes you get a body shop doing, acting that way, which kind of bugs me, but I won't go any further on that. Um, but that's how you remove that firm pole at the top two corners. Then you got four along the bottom. There's no clips in the middle. So from the looks of things, this black plastic section here, I'm not sure if that has to come off or not. Um, if it does, we're gonna have to get a little bit deeper in there to do that, because this does come all the way around this light. So I'm wondering if I can just insert the light like this into this black plastic section here. So up over here, we'll get this rubber pulled up has a couple little rubber fingers that go into the plastic there and we need to get in here because right underneath here is a fastener right behind the washer fluid there is a push clip pull that out and that should get most of this piece here loose let's see this also tucks into the fender like that okay get it around the washer fluid Get it up out of the way. So now we got a push clip right here that holds in that corner of the headlight. Get underneath the first part, pull it up, and uh, it's interesting because that clip is also wrecked. So that means that, well, <clears throat> so 
we'll just remove that clip. We'll come back, pull out this 10 mil right here that holds that side of the headlight that we looked at a minute ago. Because I can see this is already rusty, I'm gonna spray some PB Blaster. Not, not only on the bolt, but also on the, the threaded insert that's clicked onto that headlight housing. I'm gonna start nice and easy here. Okay, actually doesn't feel too bad. Sometimes on these older cars, obviously, you go to turn these things and they won't turn, or they'll just snap on the first try. So it's getting a little tougher to turn, so I'll hit it with a little more, a little more blaster. And then what I'll do to try and prevent any problems is I'll actually turn it back in a little bit. Okay. And uh, I think I just broke that, actually. Nope, not yet. Turn it back in a little bit. That's going to let the PB blaster soak those threads a little further. And see if I can't turn this out the rest of the way. So now that's free. We know that's free now because we just took that fitting out. So now we need to get underneath here and get this bumper cover off and see what else is necessary to make this happen. Okay, so to work on this fender, excuse me, this bumper cover, I'm gonna start down here with this Phillips screw. So that's the lowest part of the trim around this bumper cover. There's a plastic clip here. We'll try and turn it out as a screw because it does have a Phillips shaped head on it. Sometimes this works and it'll work today, good. Now, just by feel, there's another one of those, except with no Phillips head. Right here, there's a plastic clip. Kind of tough to see, there it is. So now we'll try and get that guy out. And there we go. Well, I guess I'll have some new clips to buy for this project. All these clips are broken or missing. So. So now with that clip out, I got one more clip back here. Actually, that one's actually a Phillips screw. Right there. Take that out too. Might be helpful to pull this wheel off if you want. Or you could turn the wheel the other way because this, this one's kind of tricky to get to even with a short screwdriver. So now with those screws and clips out, you can pull this off, okay? No need to take it all the way off because you just need the room in the front to work, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll take this screw out of the bumper cover. And we'll see if we can get this bumper cover to move for us at all now. Just like that. Excellent. <clears throat> so now we should have room to work to get this headlight out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that bolt. That looks like a 10 mil. That looks like the same one. That's the same bracket that's on the bottom of that light. The one we looked at, that one right there. Okay, so that's how that's held in with that 10 mil bolt. So I'll get a ratchet, just pull that out real quick, and we'll see if I can maneuver that light out.
So that bolt that we just took out goes through this bracket. This is a, an additional bracket in front of the headlight. This bracket comes all the way around to the right. And we're gonna need to get more of this bumper cover removed and lowered to continue this. Uh, Maybe not. So I'll show you what we're looking at. <clears throat> so remember I was telling you that this plastic comes in front of the headlight? We're going to have to remove this. Because this is the same plastic piece that goes down here and then follows the front of this headlight. And then we just unbolted from over here, okay? So deep in here, there's a 10 mil holding the top of that bracket. Also, down in here, there's another 10 mil right there holding the bottom of that bracket, okay? So we can reach in with a ratchet behind this bumper cover, which is what I'll do. I'm gonna reach in all the way in and use a ratchet to get that bottom bolt. I'll just use a ratchet with an extension to reach this top bolt and then that'll let me get this plastic bracket out of the way. The bolt is not very long, so you want to try and get it with your fingers. Make sure we don't lose it, okay? That's what it looks like. It's the same kind of bolt we took out of the side here. I'm just going to drop it down there. It's the same size and length and everything. And yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to kind of be doing this part a little bit blind. But uh, hopefully it works the way I think it'll work. i got to press outward on the bumper cover. Put my hand in there. Then I can look around. See where I'm going. And I got it. Same thing though, it's a it's a short bolt. So now I'm gonna try and finish loosening it with my fingers. Get a little too tight, so I'll use the socket. working and just keep good control of it as you go because you don't want to drop it then use your opposite hand lift up on that bumper cover again a little bit get your arm back out and get your bolt so now this whole headlight and this black bracket are all loose for the only thing holding me in place now is this wire harness this wire harness comes from this side, clips into the top of the light, and then continues around. So I'm going to unclip that now. You've got to push it down when you unclip it, so it comes off the headlight. Then we'll go ahead. There's also a wire clip right here. We'll pop that up. We'll disconnect the electrical plugs and everything. 
one more wire clip way back here. And one more plug. So now we can set that harness over the side. And now I've got the whole assembly. This is the bottom of that bracket, okay? This is held in with a 10 mil to the bottom of the housing. So when you take the whole thing out, this is what you'll have in your hands, okay? Um, even as I look at this, I still think this is probably the best way to do this, is to pull this whole thing out like this. Then we can just pull this bolt out, okay? So I'll mount this onto the new housing. There's also a small little nipple right here on this side that you want to make sure it engages. As we go here. It's kind of a big fixture, so it's a little tricky to show you everything with just two hands here. Now on the outside, we want to make sure that this comes over on those little stubs. Okay, those little nubs there. And then we're ready to slide this back in. Now we can start loosely putting these bolts back in together. Okay, make sure we get each one started. And then once each one is started, we can go back and snug them up because we know that we have them aligned well. So there's the one for this one. here that we took out before and again make sure that the piece lines up with all those little nubs that are there we're just going to start this make sure we get her lined up because we still have the lower one in the middle over there to get set up okay so that's lined up it's not tight yet it's just started so now what we'll do is we'll go back again with just the socket and the screw and feel our way underneath to that lower one like we did before. Now it's a matter of getting this clip up here put back in, clipping the bumper cover back on in place where it came from. You want to press your grill back, back on, clips back on the top of the grill, and just finish putting the clips on the wheel well. And then, of course, we have to uh, plug all these lights back in, which are no problem. And then uh, once you've got all that completed, then you're gonna be good to go. And you'll have your new headlight housing in and uh, the car look, car look nice again. So hopefully this helps uh, somebody. Um, <clears throat> a couple other notes about this procedure is this does also give you access to the horn, 
Okay, the horn is down underneath there. I'm not sure if you can get to that from underneath also, but that's one way to get to the horn. One way to get to the back of the fog light if you had to replace the whole assembly. And also at the bottom there, you can also get to the washer fluid pump this way. So that's a couple of couple of things you can look at if you need to. If they're not accessible from underneath, which they probably are also, but I just try and show you what's what's possible while I'm here. So I'll just reassemble this now and uh, hopefully this helps you and thanks for watching.